being a big Barnsley fan and uh, being a being a, an artist and doing it full time, I wanted to get involved with the uh, heritage project, the uh, Red to the Community Heritage Project, because um, the club has been important to my family um, since the beginning, really, and um, being the first actual person born outside Barnsley on my dad's side, it was nice to do something for the club that I've supported since I was seven years old and to be able to produce the paintings um, celebrating Barnsley's 130 year history is a massive honour for me. So doing it at Oakwell is a, a real honour because I'm able to, to paint and use the ground's inspiration for these paintings. As an artist, have you worked at other clubs? Yeah, I mean I started, um, I did a degree at the University of Liverpool from 2000 to 2003 based in Chester. And then after that I went to, um, after my degree I came out and exhibited at the Manchester Art Show. And I did uh, the first uh, big, big work that I got uh, commissioned to do for, for, for a football club was Manchester United. And they um, commissioned me to do a painting over uh, an overhead kick of Wayne Rooney scoring his goal against Man City. And that was through Gordon Taylor at the PFA because uh, you know, I'm part of the uh, collection of artists at the PFA and um, Gordon Taylor's always been really supportive of all the artists in the football community. And uh, I went to see him and he, you know, I said, Gordon, I've got this painting of Manchester United in the car, can I show it you? And do you reckon you can get me an introduction to the club? And he did, he phoned up David Gill and Michael Bolingbroke, who were there at the time, and they had a look at what I did and said they liked it, but they would really like me to do a painting more specific to what was happening at the club at the time. Um, so yeah, that was the first big one that I had with the with the, with the club, and then Wembley Stadium is my most apart from actually being here doing this for Barnsley, which is my biggest honour so far in my career. <laughs> Wembley is pretty pretty high up there too because they commissioned me to do a couple of murals celebrating England's history and uh, England's um, you know the, well I know, England's success in '66 was a was a big part of of the murals that I produced there and I've got a permanent collection of work on display. And I've also got one of the Super Reds on display there and it was great for me last year because I actually was in Club Wembley and the Barnsley fans were, were in there under my painting and I was like, oh, I wanted to show you that's my <laughs> painting. I wanted to shout that's my painting of, of Barnsley but uh, obviously I, I couldn't really do that without looking a bit, a bit, bit strange at the time so I was really pleased that um, hopefully it brought us a bit of luck. And, uh, we managed to win there twice, so it was a great honour to, to have that there, and it's still there now. Um, and uh, it was of the of the uh, the promotion against Swansea, so that was the the painting that I produced there. But these paintings at the moment I'm doing, I've got one of the FA Cup so far, and this one is of Clint Marcel scoring his second goal, or Barnsley's second goal, should I say, against Bradford in '96-'97. So. Massive football fan, football's a huge part of what I do. I love the community spirit of it, how it brings people together in celebration. And part of the reason I'm a big Barnsley fan is the history on our family side. And uh, you know, the, the relationship that, and the bond that I've got with my dad and, and, the, and my grandma, you know, was the Barnsley connection and, the, and the, the spirit of Barnsley and stuff has been the inspiration behind why I wanted to be uh, an artist painting about football. So this is definitely a dream job for you. And what, what's, what's the um, outcome at the end regards these uh, paintings? Well, what we're looking to do for the Resident Heritage Project, the community project, um, is maybe to perhaps uh, blow the paintings up and perhaps put them in their design somewhere that's going off. But that's for Sarah Hughes and the Resident Community team to decide. But hopefully when the paintings are complete, we'll look to display them in the club. Um, and look, 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 to, look for the club to enjoy them, and hopefully, you know, I'll do the club justice with the with the subject matters that I'm painting about, and they'll they'll hopefully appreciate them for many years to come. That's what I hope, because it's a it's a real honour for me to be part of the history of the club, you know, with the paintings I'm doing. It's an honour to have you here, man. No, it's an honour to be here, me. Thanks, Andy.